Royston Wild Sunday the 19th of November 2017 more on BDE VHS TG image Barrett developments fair use I own shares in Barrett developments LSE BDEV I was tempted in by the colossal dividend yields and as you can imagine my love of the stock went up a notch following the release of this week s full year financials Britain s biggest residential property builder announced that it has enjoyed a strong start to the year supported by a positive market backdrop. While the company's sales rate remained flat year in year between July 1 and November 12, at 0.74, the total forward sales jumped 8.4% to £2.88 billion. Barrett has launched a further 79 new developments since the start of the fiscal year. I own shares in Barrett. Developments LSE BDV. I was tempted in by the colossal dividend yields and, as you can imagine, my love of the stock went up a notch following the release of this week's full-year financials. Britain's biggest residential property builder announced that it has enjoyed a strong start to the year supported by a positive market backdrop. While the company's sales rate remained flat year and year between July 1 and November 12, at 0.74, the total forward sales jumped 8.4% to £2.88 billion. Barrett has launched a further 79 new developments since the start of the fiscal year, it said, up from 69 in the corresponding 2016 period, from 373 outlets up three from a year ago. The company said that it expects average outlet numbers to grow, modestly, in the full year. Toasting the results, Chief Executive David Thomas said, we have started the financial year strongly with a good sales rate driven by customer demand for new homes, and supported by an attractive lending environment. Watch the yield things continue to look good for the likes of Barrett as a lack. Available existing housing drives demand for new build properties, which is being kept afloat by historically low interest rates and the government's help to buy purchasing incentive. And with ministers showing little real appetite to get to grips with the country's embarrassingly low housing stock. I expect Barrett to continue benefiting from the industry's supply crunch long into the future. The FTSE 100 firm forked out a total 41.7p per share dividend in the year to June 2017 comprising interim, final and special dividends, up from 30.7p a year earlier. And with earnings expected to rise 5% in fiscal 2018, city brokers are expecting another rise in the shareholder reward, a 43.3p payout currently anticipated. As a consequence, Barrett yields a market mashing 6.9%. Another fortune maker, but Barrett isn't the only big yielder I'm tipping to pay big now and in the future. Indeed, the favorable conditions in the car insurance market also convinces me that Hastings Group LSEHSTG should keep on making its shareholders very happy. The FTSE 250 giants saw gross written premiums boom 25% during January-September, to £714.3 million, helped by the steady rise in policy costs seen across the industry. But this is only part of the story as Hastings continues to grab revenues from its competitors, the Number of life policies on its books grew 14% in the nine months, to 2.6 meters, a result that saw its share of the market rise to 7.2% from 6.4% a year earlier. So the city is predicting earnings at Hastings to rise 47% this year and 16% in 2018, impressive growth estimates that are expected to keep dividends tearing higher. Indeed, predicted payments of 12.8p and 15.2p per share are estimated for 2017 and 2018 respectively, meaning that the business sports jumbo yields of 4.2% and 5% for these years. Royston Wild owns shares in Barrett Developments, the Motley Fool UK has no position in any of the shares mentioned. Views expressed on the companies mentioned in this article are those of the writer and therefore may differ from the official recommendations we make in our subscription services such as Share Advisor, Hidden Winners and Pro. Here at The Motley Fool, we believe that considering a diverse range of insights makes us better investors.